generic greetings and welcome back once again to Parky Tech. A rainy one at that. Today's beverage is a very nice coffee, black, no sugar. The perfect beverage for stimulating the creation of a coaster, which is what we'll be doing in this episode. So welcome back to the game. In the previous couple of episodes, we were doing some tidying up and adding some nice little sections where it's like full of flowers and bins and information points and obviously also building the splash battle, which is currently useless because it is raining, uh, putting in monorails and also the very popular observation tower, although I have a feeling that it's possible because of the uh, yeah increased popularity due in rain and lower temperatures well it's raining thunder and lightning and minus four degrees so yes people are going to be flocking towards that let me just cheaply put the price up there so overall pretty happy with the progress and we are getting close towards the objective uh, we did have a couple of problems when it comes to the water rides specifically the splash battles and um things like the bumper boats, the things were stuck. They've been stuck for a while, but I haven't noticed Slash uh, resolved it until uh, last episode, but hopefully it's okay. As to the cars, I have actually no idea why why it was uh, messing up. I thought it was something to do with, like, maybe stuff like this, where it's, like, too close, but the bumper boats have been going past there, so I actually have no idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the left-hand side and plan our building. So, this is where we have a quite open area, and I want to make a coaster that is quite large. And, I mean, we've got two coasters at the moment, haven't we? The first coaster that we made is on the right-hand side of the screen here. This is the Junior Coaster, which actually has 10 guests on the ride and 32 in the queue. I'm going to put the price up for that one. And that is rated as a high, medium, low, and high decoration ride. So it's actually quite a decent coaster. The vertical drop coaster is uh, very popular as well, with 16 Juno Q and currency for price. And we have 8 guests on the ride, 33 in the queue. It's rated as a very high excitement ride, but also extreme intensity, medium nausea, and medium decoration. So overall, happy with the coaster. So let's have a look at the sort of coasters that we can create. So there's many options for this. We've got Alpine Coaster, Bob sled coaster, flawless coaster, you've got spinning inverting coaster, you've got water coasters, there's all manner of things. Um, the one that really, there's, there's a couple that springs to mind. Firstly, the oh, uh, splash battle advertisement has ended, effectiveness is 63%, uh, not great, but not terrible, 3.6. Uh, so we've got things like the... Um, the hyper coaster, the steel coaster, which is your sort of air quotes standard steel coaster, the most common type of roller coaster it says, and also one of my favourite, the hydraulically launched coaster. Trains stop on a launch track where they get attached to a uh, catch card smoothly accelerates them to a high speed and that's the one I fancy making so let's go ahead and see what I can do here. So we're going to place the entrance in here and go for one, two, uh, actually, you don't need a big entrance because there's only one car I think can go on this. So, uh, actually, maybe maybe delete that. Uh, that's probably a little bit too far back. Let me start that again. So, we'll remove that. Back over to our... Where is it? Over our hydraulically launched here. And then we'll place it there. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's fine. And then what's going to happen is this is going to go around as a 90 degree turn. Uh, maybe a little bit larger than that. That is fine fine and then a straight couple of straight sections the reason for that is i want it to slowly come out work its way along and then it connects up to the hydraulically launching uh, the hydraulic launch system which is along here at the bottom and there it is there's the hydraulically launched section now this is currently going to go underground but my plan is to open up a trench and then fill it with like say rocks and trees on the other side so it will be quite a nice view from from the coaster uh, and we're going to increase the section length here and the section length the reason you would increase that is to increase the maximum speed so it's currently set to 75 but if we put say 100 it will allow us to go 100 120 120 would be fine let's just put 200 uh, okay so 200 is not allowed with this length of track so i think well what we'll do is we'll reduce it down a little bit i want to say 140 maybe yeah 140 would be allowed with that what if i just use it a bit further uh, 140 no, so we'd have to have it 8 length for 140 kilometers. That's the launching system here. So we'll build that, and I want to go back out and then flatten tool. And I want to flatten the land to about there. And as you can see, it's put it in this trench. I may extend the trench one to the left and to the right, but I quite like the way it's all sloped like that. So we might even put, like, you can put waterfalls down it. That might be quite a nice thing. Anyway, we'll worry about decoration later. So what'll happen, you'll be able to see the coaster now. So it comes out here. 
goes straight a little bit and then there's like a sled here that it connects to. The reason I've put this straight section is if you don't do that, what happens is this back car, oh there you go, and it gets launched and then death. Uh, so what happens, it gets, it comes down the corner like that. But if you put the hydraulic launch uh, system here, this is still on the corner and it whips round and I think that really does affect the uh, rating of it. So the type of thing you can make in this one, you've got like different like loops, you can put loops in, you can put S-bends, that would just break people's necks. Uh, you can put verticals as well, so you can just go straight up like that and if you wanted to, just go up into a vertical motion like that and then basically you can go like continue straight up and then and then go back down like that if you really wanted to. Um, do we want to? Um, I mean, it looks cool. Let's see what it's rated at, shall we? Let's put the vertical G-Force. Obviously, this is going to be in red. This is going to be in blue. Uh, will it actually get over the top? Yes, that is... That's not ideal. Uh, oh, that's far too many negative Gs. Um, how many negative Gs are on that one? Uh, not uh, Too many is the, is the answer, but... If I increase the size of it, or rather increase the size of that, say 10, then go over at, uh, say, 3, like that, and then go down, that was 10, and then we'll level off, um, say, to that. And then I can start putting in, like, loop the loops and stuff. Maybe that. Oh yeah, that goes up and over. Ooh, that's actually not... That's not bad. Hmm, negative 1G. Let's try it. I've never tried something like that. And you've got loops like that. Maybe you loop that side. See, up and over, like that. That should probably be a bit faster. I think that should be a bit faster. I'm going to redo that in a second. That's nice and smooth. Okay, I see where we're going with this now. I see where we're going with this. Down by one, like that. Then over. And I think it was four, was it? Three. And then down by... It'll be nine this time. Then level off. Yeah, that might be a bit better air time, that. Okay. Just keep an eye on that. But uh, still more vertical Gs. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep it like that. We'll see what happens, and we'll do a loop, then inversions, and then another loop. Will that work? So loop, nice loop. Yep, up and round. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Another loop. Okay, and then. Can we invert? I don't think we can invert that, but I'll try. And I want to invert and go back around this way, but I don't think we can. No, we can't. Let's see what it looks like there, though. It goes around. That's nice and smooth. Round here. Yes. And does it have the speed to get over this one? Oh, it really does. It really does. Uh, what I can do then is reduce the length of that. Um, it's on that row there, is it? Uh, I just don't think it's going to work. I mean, I can go straight like that. And then straight again, then back down. We could do that. Is that what I want to do? I don't know. I don't like the vertical bit necessarily there. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, maybe too much. That's only negative 1G, to be fair. It's not as sharp as this one. And then come around here, and then maybe. Along. And then straighten up. Is a f maybe four, then another four, and then curve back round, and straight to there, and then should we put in some like 
<laughs> we really don't want those inversions. <laughs> another, sp another speed boost? No, perhaps not. Um... Mm. I think we just go back to the entrance, quite frankly. We have to get to level 4, don't we? Sort of there. And level it up. Maybe reduce that to 5. Then reduce that to 4 there. And then, I know we're underground, but obviously we'll change this. Do you want to break block in? Uh, break, get you down to 10. Yeah, so you don't go in the station at ridiculous speeds. And then, we just need to sort of head in there then. Oh, it's because we've still got break blocks on, that's why we can't do that. Okay. And there we go. It is technically built. Okay, let's try. I'm not. I'm not. Hold, I'm not holding out for greatness on this one. I must. Con I must confess. Um, right. Let's try. Just so reducing this. I'm gonna put the trenches in, like that. There we go. I'll do it. Nicely. Oh, right. That was aiming for. And let's see this thing. So, launch. Up and over. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> this is going to be rated extreme, isn't it? With high nausea. That looks quite nice. A bit slow around that one. And this inversion here could be problematic. That seems okay. That seems alright. And then to the break. Oh god. Okay. That says excitement extreme. If it keeps it high excitement extreme, I'll be ecstatic. Oh my word. <laughs> we have an hydraulically launch coaster. Excitement extreme. Intensity very high. So not easy, not even as intense as this thing. Nausea low rating. I would have not guessed in a million years this thing would have had a low nausea rating. Wow. Get that open. Start selling tickets. I'm, <laughs> I'm over the moon with that one. That is brilliant. Oops. That's the wrong. That's the wrong one. I cannot believe it is that rating. I, I have no idea how it's managed to get a rating like that. Right. Get it open. Uh, can we change the the right the type of? I can change, you can add add cars onto the train. Ah, which that'll alter the rating though. I can't imagine it being altering it too much though, surely. Hmm. Anyway, so we have a hydraulically launched coaster, which I'm actually going to shut again. The reason for that is I want a camera. <laughs> I want cameras placed in. It there. I don't even know if these actually, how they work properly, but I'm putting it in. So, we've opened the coaster and it started raining. So, we've got that going for us, which is nice. I'll tell you what, while it's doing that then, I'll put it on test. Because we can. And we have to think about the, the look of it now, because obviously it's low decoration and we need to alter that. Now, I could just put loads of trees around here and make a forest and that actually does appeal but other options are to have stuff go underneath and maybe we could turn this into a lake couldn't we or have rides in the middle of this like we could very easily have say what haven't we got a topple tower we have a topple tower in here I actually don't mind that idea um let's give that a go so topple tower gonna go in this will come along to there and then what we'll do is put that there down 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 straight up and that connects up oh it does it connects up perfectly that's good and then we'll extend this 
because I want to have it so... Uh, actually, no, maybe that was fine. Have that. Ooh, maybe not. Messing this up now, Anna. There we go. Right. I'm going to have to do something to cover this up as well, but we'll put, probably put trees around it. Um, and then this will go... Thought that was going to happen. And we'll open the topple tower up. And it means we've got now a nice topple tower over here as well. In between all of this. Didn't plan this, but sometimes that's that's the best things you get. You don't plan it and you end up with something that's A-OK. -okay. Just seeing for the new test results. That's a nearly a, that's a 70 meter drop we've got nearly there. If this still comes as extreme rating for excitement, I'll be very happy. If it doesn't, I'll knock one of the carriages off. Extreme, very high, low, medium. That'll do me. Open it is. Open. There we go. So, we now have two new ra uh, rides. This one, yeah, the rating's not ideal. Uh, it's going dark, so I'm just going to put it to day. I guess I could put some fireworks on this as well. But let's see how we get on. So, over to decoration, and want to put in some decoration. That's our standard procedure for beautifying this place. Um, I could put decoration all the way around here, couldn't I? It'd actually look okay. Yeah, it does look okay as well. Some people will disagree, by all means. Uh, I want to probably level that up to there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Back to decoration. So we've got a topple tower. And we've now got this, which people are... Heading towards. Good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead then, and we need to make a bit of a feature of something. So what I'm going to do is go to hmm, what's going to what's going to pique my interest. In fact, you know what I want to do first? Cover this up because it looks a bit a bit terrible. Fencing then, and I'll put fencing around. And there we go. Does that work alright? It does. And then I'll put some uh, roofing bits on it, which we found... Uh, where are the roofing bits? Just using the dropper tool. We did put some roofing, uh, roofings? Roof on things, didn't we? I can't see it. Okay. I'll just have to find it then. Um, it'll be in... Not much of a surprise. In... Roofs here. I'm just looking for the standard wood roof. Flat roof there. That'll do. One, two, three. Uh, I think there is a, like a, a sloped roof. No, there's not. Or if there is, I'm going to have to change it to that. That would work, but I need the right colours. Because that ain't the right colour. That ain't the right colour. That ain't the right colour. Okay, so, <laughs> this thing, roof flat, um, how do we add that colour? That, I think, right, go back to this, there we go, uh, looks a bit dodgy, but I think it's just the texture, but it's working, and people are going on this thing. That guy's not too happy, though. Hmm. Right, so, that just covers all the underground bits there. This is getting people on. That's uh, three... Oh, 11 people on the ride, one guest in the queue. And this thing has got seven guests on the ride, five people in the queue. Let's ride it, shall we? Good grief, here we go. And right up. Hmm. <laughs> that, is, that is so harsh, that bit there. But, the excitement rating is good. And, oh wow, the inversions look really nice. Then we go over that bit, and then round that way. That looks a bit harsh as well, but I think it might be just the where the camera's turning. And then this bit where it goes up and over and round. And then we sort of come back to the beginning. Down there, hit the brakes. The reason I put brakes in there is because if, the, if you have brake failure in the entrance, then this thing will just continue going round. So yeah, you, you, you don't want that. Um, right, okay, so... Let's go ahead and finish off the decoration. So decoration naturally will be lanterns. We use lanterns everywhere, so we'll put that in. I also want to put some 
benches and other seating arrangements need to be made and things like that. And let's see about maybe that to there and job done. We're going to do a similar thing for the setup over here as well. So this is our little topple tower. I normally don't place these in parks because quite frankly they are a nightmare because of the build size says it's this. This footprint of one, two, three, four, five, six by six, but it's not. People seem to be really happy with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's not because this topples over and side to side. So actually, the the building is more, the footprint is more probably what you see here. Uh, more like a, I'd say like a almost ten by ten. But it is what it is. And wow, people are absolutely flocking towards this thing. This is great. This is what we want. Anyway, benches. We'll have some benches. Uh, so click on that one. Hang on. Click on that one. There we go. Third time to charm and one two three in dispersed the benches we will have some bins if I can find some bins I can't yet but there is a map board so we'll place a map board um, say there just because it's always useful to have them uh, we've got some bins here so I'll place one in there there and then there and that is now functioning we have there you go there's the topple tower so it just leans right over so you can't have like loops and stuff around this area oh wow this is getting really full up loads of people are heading towards this you know what let's go ahead and we will capitalize on that by doing a uh, it's in finance I think doing a promotional advertisement for the hydraulically launch coaster for six months television it's gonna cost us wow it's gonna cost us four grand to do that um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. This is like the, probably the biggest coaster we've made. Well, it is certainly the biggest coaster. Extreme excitement, very high intensity, low nausea, but low, uh, medium decoration. So we need to increase that decoration. <coughs> Excuse me. So, how can we do that? Well, I think we need a feature. And the feature can go around here. What sort of features are we looking at? Well... I'm going to check out maybe structures. No? Props. Fountains. Uh, oh! Mausoleum. Maybe if we make like a graveyard around here. Like an old sort of a, almost abandoned thing we'll put like f and put trees around it. Like a lost... Yeah, we, that's, that's sort of piquing my interest. So, just randomly dot these headstones around. And obviously we need to put, like, overgrowth in. Some broken ones as well. Good grief. <laughs> We're getting launched. <laughs> you hear people. Seemingly enjoying it. Um, don't want to put coffins or skeletons around. That's not the right signals. Mm, okay. There's like vines as well, isn't there? So, nature. Topiary trees. I'm sure there's vines. We've seen vines before. Yeah, there's vines. Is that the thing I was going for? Um, not so much. Them vines is the ones I was after. Yeah, those ones. Right. Okay. Like that. So it's like... Abandoned and overgrown. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. One in the back there as well. Have a couple of those. There's some longer ones. Which look, oh, they sit nicely there as well. Nice abandoned sort of place here. And let's get this surrounded by trees. Um, gonna make sure that we have a nice covering of trees here. I might put some small ones in the middle. Uh, small pine. 
Love the other one in the graveyard itself. Obviously we need to do more detail on that. But, yeah, that's the sort of thing I was going for. Okay, so, we have the hydraulically launched coaster. We've got more decoration to do, because obviously all over here. But medium is fine. Medium is a is a fine level. I think I'm going to put some, like, rocks protruding out on, this, on these areas. But other than that, we're about there. Maybe even some fireworks. Fireworks around around here maybe I'm not sure either way we're gonna leave it there for now that's been a bit of planet coaster planet coaster <laughs> parky tech um it feels like planet coaster <clears throat> excuse me uh, because of the well what we've done although in planet coaster this would take about six weeks to do yeah there's a bit of parky tech and this ride is almost full we may have to put the price up a lot of people have a nice little sit down as well and there it goes we haven't put any we haven't put any stuff over the top of this and I don't know if we are going to but as always we'll see how we get on progress is good um, attendance is going down though apparently hmm, interesting so next episode we'll play some more rides we'll do some more decoration around here although I'm not too bothered about the amount of decoration we get because well naturally we just need a we just need a medium decoration or higher so medium is is acceptable so yeah we may do a little bit of work on that play some more rides and as always crack on hope you have enjoyed it comments in the comments thanks so much for watching take care and generic partings